remains at Folsom Lake are now trying to identify them. KCRA 3 Sharakina Shams is live for us at the lake tonight. While well, we're hearing from one of the young boys who found that skeleton, Sharo. Yeah, and Edie, just today, the El Dorado County Sheriff's Department has heard from three different families who have missing loved ones and want to know who this person was, who these remains belong to. Now, to give you a little bit of perspective, I'm standing in a parking lot in the Browns Ravine area of Folsom Lake. Look how far out you have to look to see where investigators are standing at the shores of the lake where their vehicles are now parked. That is more than a mile away from the nearest boat ramp. So this is a part of the lake that were it not for the drought would be under many, many feet of water. Investigators spent the day near what is now the shore of Folsom Lake. They have marked the area on the ground where the skeleton was found. 12-year-old Greg Pearson says he and his young friends found it. My friend's like, oh my God, I found bones. I'm like, you're lying. And then I came over there and then I, I'm like, it's a turtle shell. And then I saw the teeth. And then I'm like, oh my God. Greg says he and his friends were playing here, having fun sinking in mud where there used to be water. That's when they found remains, including these bones. He texted his mother pictures of the skeleton. I was shocked because he sent me a text message and said, Mom, I found human bones. And he took a picture and he sent it to me. And I zoomed in and I said, don't move, I'll be right there. Investigators say it's much too early to know whether the remains belong to somebody who died as a result of foul play or if that death may have been accidental or for some other reason. They do say they found teeth and so they're hoping dental records will help them identify the remains. Among the people who've contacted the El Dorado Sheriff's Department today is Frank Wilcox, whose brother was in a plane that crashed here in 1965. Every time the water drops in this lake, it's just gut-wrenching. It's just gut-wrenching. But investigators aren't sure that the remains are that old. They do say they think they are at least 10 years old. Meantime, Greg Pearson and his mom did see a cell phone out here as well that they say was an older model cell phone. But it's not yet clear that that phone was connected to the remains. Live here at Folsom Lake tonight, I'm Sharakina Shams, KCRA 3 News. Well, hopefully it'll provide answers for a family. Sharakina, thank you.